yelling. Get me out of here and we'll talk like human beings. You're a deserter, not a human. Do you see what you've done? Soldiers, take him down. Hey, Granny, are you out of your mind? Calm down. Crispy critters. There's a shitload of them. Roast that neuro chocolate. That's one hell of a blast. I definitely need one more Alyanka. Or even ten more. A decent weapon wouldn't hurt. You'll surely find both somewhere, darling. In the meantime, use your pulse vortex on your enemies. My own vortex? Where can I get that? You already have it. I enhanced your boss hot module. Don't you remember, Shiva? Power button and hit your enemies with a neural pulse. I'll try it soon. So where now? You go the grave, you little rat. Calm down. You're not in my script. Don't you get it yet? Nora, where's the exit? There's no connection here. Oh, but of course, Granny... Fine, I can deal with that. to secure the landing area. Entry here is forbidden with hostile forces around. Right. Got it. You now, though, there's no way to fly or run away from the facility. Why is that? The Mendeleev complex is under the control of Nora, the damaged artificial intelligence. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. What do you want? Hmm? No, this is all wrong. That's not right. Get out of here. Ah, go. Just fly away. Come here. Ah, you damaged that glove of yours. Uh, uh, now, where was I? Uh, ah, right. So, the Mendeleev complex is under Nora's electromagnetic dome. Hmm. The collective can't see us, so we're isolated. No comms, no transport. And Granny? It seems like she can fly around cursing me just fine. Ah, Sienada, yes. She's quite well equipped in terms of technology. Come here. Ah, here. She got involved in an open conflict with Sechenov, but I'm afraid that's our problem now. <sighs> ah, first get comfortable in this chair, and... And then put your left hand right here. Now, I will try to replace the polymetric manipulator.
great. No. What the hell? Not to worry, Major. We're all friends here. What does Granny want? <sighs> she wants Nora, Sergei. You should know by now that Nora is essentially an autonomous weapons manufacturing plant. That's why Zenaida is eager to control her. And the dummies. Is that Zena too? Ah, yes, Sergei. Colonel Muravyova took over Mendeleev's control hub, which controls the... What did you call them? The dummies. So the complex has been blockaded by two psychopaths. Precisely. Precisely. <laughs> First, <sighs> Nora set up her magnetic dome, and then Zinaida took control of the robots on the surface and tried to suppress her. How many days was I out? Has the Collective already been launched? Three days. But thanks to you, Sergei, Collective 2.0 was bang on time and is growing by the hour, accepting thousands of people from all around the world. Why weren't you able to immediately nab Granny Xena if she's gone mad? Ha! Oh, no, no, no. She hasn't gone mad by any means. She's a colonel of the USSR's counterintelligence service and the supervisor of the government's secret communications hub. Hmm. It's just that she basically joined the Collective's enemies. Ah, help yourself to Elyonka. Oh, oh no, don't worry, it's just chocolate. I, all the more reason, why wasn't she arrested immediately? <laughs> Colonel Muravyova's aviation hub, Sergei. <laughs> Her little hut is cutting-edge military espionage technology. She's an expert at camouflage. So, monitoring her hut is impossible, even from my lab. That's why I was more than surprised when she showed up here. How did you end up here? And why can't we just fly your lab out of here? I found out about Nora's malfunction, and I headed over here immediately. She... She's my invention. So, I'm responsible for her. I couldn't restart the control algorithms in time, and the self-analysis malfunction made everything worse. Now Nora is preventing all my attempts to debug her. She... she considers them acts of violence against her as a woman. But, Professor, the lab appears to be undamaged. That's right, that's right. Nora doesn't have the capability to attack it, but she's doing a, a great job of using her electromagnetic jammers to knock out my engines. <sighs> the lab is literally bogged down in the middle of a magnetic field, and Nora has also blocked any ability to remotely connect to her interfaces. What's with the dummies? They puppets? Eh? Yeah? They're the M4D5's special series, MADS. The security and maintenance personnel of the complex. The Mendeleev complex. Uh, they're the uh, experimental prototypes. Uh, they were the basis uh, uh, for the development, uh, uh, development of a new secret type of neuropolymeric security robot. Everyone's gone mad. Why the need for camouflage security, anyway? She has things to protect, Sergei. Mendeleev's Nora's birthplace. The depths of the complex contain... her brain. Or... her heart, if you prefer. What's more, the latest robot prototypes are being developed here. They're made entirely out of non-solid polymers. Okay, 
So my glove is good to go. What now? Where yeah. do we start? By looking for BD robots that contain Nora's reference algorithms. All good. You can take your hand out now. Great in neural manipulators. That reminds me of... Uh, I can't quite remember. Ah, turned out pretty well, if I do say so myself. Kinda. But don't forget, Sergei, I'm a scientist. I don't have any combat modules, but your glove is equipped with a standard kit, including a scanner, telecay, and a polymeric sphere. It also has a comms module that I can use to give you guidance on your mission. You can still upgrade your gear using Nora. <laughs> if she doesn't refuse to help, that is. She surely won't. So where should I look for these BDs? Uh, it, in my paraterminal, you'll find more information on BDs and their capabilities. Ah, you'll have to look for them all over the complex. I'd start with the swamps. Abudov went through my escape route. I don't have any way to get back into Mendeleev. Uh, there's an entry gateway not far from here. Right now, it's been locked by Nora. But I know how to get the access code. I... I sent my last BD to get it, but I had to deactivate it completely on its way back, so the Zenaida couldn't follow its magneton. So, I bring you the bead. And you give me the access code for Mendeleev? That's exactly right. I'll get right on it.